Now, you can do almost all of economics always starting here at the, at the beginning in terms of your utility function. But we don't, this is a little bit cumbersome. So economists have developed a way to kind of summarize this problem. And that's really the theory of demand. And that's where I want to go next. So if I start with this primitive, maximize u of x1 up to xn, subject to the sum of the xi pi less than or equal to m, I get my first order conditions that I just put on the board, partial u, partial x1 equals lambda p1, down to partial u, partial xn equals lambda pn, and the sum of the xi, pi, is m. That's my, those are my n plus 1 equations in n plus 1 unknowns. Okay, so the n plus 1 equations are the proportionality between prices and margin utilities and the budget constraint. The budget constraint is going to turn out to play a major role here, and I'll come back to that a little later. <coughs> Now we have n plus 1 equations and n plus 1 unknowns. In general, we'll be able to solve these things. And we can solve these for x1 star, the equilibrium amount of x1 I'm going to choose, which is the solution to this, is x1m of p1 up to pn and m. That is, if I tell you p1 up to pn and m, you can solve this equation the optimal and lambda star equals lambda of P1 up to Pn and M. Okay? So those are the results of solving those first order conditions. The way to think of it. This is what's called the demand equations. And these are a particular type of demand equations, which are called the Marshallian demand equations. That is, they're after a famous economist, Alfred Marshall. And the key thing about the Marshallian equations is that they tell me the optimal level of x1 as a function of the prices of goods 1 up to good n and income. So you tell me the prices and income, and I'll tell you how much he consumes. It's a summary of this maximization problem, right? Everybody see where the, mar the demand equations come from? You have this Marshall, you have this maximization problem. You say, okay, give me the prices and income. That gives me the budget constraint. I combine that with the utility function. That gives me the demand equations. Okay. Now, it's important to understand What's going on in these demand equations? So, for example, when I look at like from the Marcelli equations, partial x1 star, partial pj equals partial xm, partial pj, from p1 to pn. So, this tells me. As I change the price of good J, what will happen to the equilibrium consumption of good 1? Well, that's measured by the partial derivative of this Marshallian demand equation. Now, what am I assuming about all the other goods in the Marshallian system? Am I holding the consumption of those other goods constant? Now, I'm the Marshallian system implicitly, or explicitly, depending on how you think about it, is saying, I'm looking at how will good one respond to the price of good J when this person can freely adjust all the goods in that utility function. Right? He's not just a good adjusting good J and good one. He's adjusting his whole portfolio of goods. 
Marshallian equations correspond to a world in which this person can adjust all these goods in response to the price of good J. You're not just adjusting good I, you're not just adjusting good J, you're adjusting all the good. The reason that can be very important, particularly when you want to look at data, is that might be, you might want to ask, is that what's going on in the experiment I'm seeing? Are people really going to be able to make the adjustments implied by these Marshallian demand equations? Because sometimes they can. Sometimes it takes time to adjust some of these goods. That's going to lead to, for example, some differences between short-run and long-run responses. Right? That is, goods, good, the goods are going to adjust, and you, you want to think about how well it might take some time for people to respond to this price change. If I want to consume more of one thing, i got to consume less of, of others. And if those are kind of sticky, if there's cost of adjustment and things like that, that can affect the way in which people respond. The responses are going to be mediated by the ability of people to adjust. In general, the way we usually think about economics, people can make more adjustments the longer, the more time you give them. And we're going to talk about that as part of our analysis. That often in economics, you might say, well, geez, things didn't change much when prices change. Well, give them time. People will make more adjustments. We'll be able to change more things. And often it'll change things that seem very unrelated to what started the whole thing. Right, we'll talk about that as well. These are the Marshallian responses. Now, there's some restrictions that utility maximization is going to place upon these Marshallian demanding. 